Okay, I have to start over. It's a 10 minute limit on my uh, phone here. Jeremiah 33, verse 19. This is a continuation of the first part of this video. And the word of Jehovah came to Jeremiah, and this is what Jehovah says. If you can break my covenant with the day and my covenant with the night, so that day and night cease to occupy their appointed time, then my covenant may also be broken with David, my servant, and with my ministers, the Levites, who are priests, so that David will not have a son to reign on his throne. As the hosts of heavens cannot be counted, and as the sand on the seashore cannot be measured, so too will I multiply the descendants of my servant David and the Levites who minister before me. Moreover, says the word, the word of Yehovah, moreover, the word of Yehovah came to Jeremiah. Have you not noticed what these people are saying? Yehovah has rejected the two families he has chosen. So they despise my people and no longer regard them as a nation. This is what Yehovah says. If I have not established my covenant with the day and the night and fixed the order of the heaven and earth, then I would also reject the descendants of Jacob and of my servant David, so as not to take from his descendants rulers over the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for I will restore them from captivity and have compassion on them. And this is Romans 3, verses 21 through 23. The righteousness of God has been revealed as attested to by the Torah and the prophets. And this righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no distinction. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So I thought that was a really interesting. There's there's this this thread. It goes you know through the whole thing from Genesis to Revelation. Um, and then um, just continuing on, there's. Uh, Yehovah's love language to man is mercy and grace, and man's love language to Yehovah is obedience. So, and consider Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Therefore, go and do what? Make disciples of who? All nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to what? Obey obey what all that i have commanded you and surely i am with you always even to the end of the age and also consider who jesus considered to be least in the kingdom of god and who considered to be great it says those who teach all my commandments who follow all, all my commandments and teach others to do likewise will be called great in the kingdom of heaven and those who, you know, teach people, you know, not to obey, you know, who, who do not follow, you know, even the, I can't remember how it goes, the least of the commandments, or, but they don't follow the commandments and teach others to not follow the commandments will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And this is in reference to the Torah. This is, you know, the, uh, God's law. So, you know, so the question that, you know, that, it, that would be a really good inquiry is to ask. So this is Jesus saying, he's teaching them to teach disciples to obey. That is the, the mark of a, of a disciple is, is obedience, which is our love language to God. To obey all that I have commanded you. What is this all and what is it? What has he commanded us? So that would be a, a really good thing to inquire into: is what is what is he? What is this that he's that we are supposed to obey? And and whatever it is, we're supposed to obey all of it. 
And he says, and surely I am with you even to the end of the age. So, may Yahweh bless and protect you. In Yeshua's name.